So I have some Civil War Surgeons tools here in front of me, uh, which is a huge part of Civil War history. Surgeons were the ones who kept all of the soldiers healthy or as best as they could. They helped them recover after wounds they received on the battlefield, and they had likely one of the most thankless jobs in the American military at the time. Now, surgeons came from all walks of life. Anyone during the uh, 1860s with medical experience of any kind, whether you were a doctor, a dentist, or anything like that, uh, could technically qualify as a surgeon. Battlefield surgery was a very common thing that uh, a lot of these doctors had to deal with, uh, and likely the most common surgical procedure done during the American Civil War was bullet extraction. And one of the first things you're gonna do in that case is using a tool like this, which is a flexible steel probe. As you can see, it can bend in various ways, and you would insert this into a wound and use it to find the bullet that's entered the body. Now once you've found the bullet, you're gonna use a pair of forceps like these to reach into the wound and remove the actual bullet itself. Now surgeons also did uh, what they called major surgeries, which involved opening up the body. Uh, so you might use tools like these uh, tuniculum or uh, retractors to open up the body cavity and do more complex work. And probably the most common major surgery done during this time period, the amputation. So soldiers had arms and legs amputated in many cases when they received uh, bullet wounds to those areas because it was easier to actually take a limb off than it was to extract the bullet, knit the wound, and prevent uh, a gangrenous infection from setting in. Now, if all of this sounds pretty bad, uh, something to keep in mind is, uh, unlike previous uh, time periods, there was anesthetic, much like we use today. Uh, the two most common ones being used during this time period included ether and chloroform. So while we think that these surgeries were much more horrendous than they actually were, uh, most of these soldiers, in fact, about 95% of surgeries done during this time uh, would actually have been done under anesthesia. Uh, 